All right, developing tonight, five international students will be starting the new school year in Southeast Texas. And organizers from the ISC, or the International Student Exchange, want to bring even more of those students to our region. Turns out there are roughly 150 students on a waiting list for this upcoming school year. And now organizers need host families to open up their homes to these eager students. Today, 12 News spoke with a Buna family who says they're thrilled to be hosting yet another year. I got to Texas two days ago, and uh, I've already visited my my new high school. Fresh off the plane from Spain, Alex has been eager to meet students at his new campus, Buna High School. And they were playing this volleyball game, and everyone uh, went uh, to meet me, so everyone was so nice. This fall, Alex took the leap of faith and chose to immerse himself in the real American high school experience. I wanted to come to the uh, U.S. because um, I thought it would be a very cool experience, you know, uh, being more independent, uh, knowing more of the, the culture. Jeremy and Amanda Page serve as host families. This is their third consecutive year hosting an exchange student. Last year we had two boys from Italy and Spain and we learned a lot about their culture and just getting to have fun as we taught them about American cultural. The pages say it's fulfilling to host young students from abroad. We don't have children of our own. We've struggled with infertility. So this gives us a chance to be parents to teenagers and to help them and fill our home with life laughter. This year, Alex is looking forward to playing basketball. So I get to be that sports dad and uh, be proud of being at a, a sporting event with other parents. Now I can be like, oh, my kid's on the court or my kid's on the football field, you know not just there watching someone else's kid, I'm watching my kid. Amanda White works with ISC, or the International Student Exchange. She's still hoping to place at least 25 more students in homes across Southeast Texas. We have 150. She adds the financial commitment is minimal. They come with insurance, they come with their own money, so we try to not burden our families as much as possible, but we do want them to feel like they're part of the family. There are also a couple requirements. Host families do have to pass background checks. They must also provide a bed and three meals a day for their students. You can head to our website, 12newsnow.com, for more information.